Welcome to the Go Procast, where we invite business doers who are changing lives by sharing their stories, their strategies and tactics, and who bravely talk about their failures that actually led to their biggest successes. Now it's time to Go Pro with Jeremy Torres. Hey everybody, welcome to the show today, and I have got a special guest, Michelle Swinnick, aka the queen of quality content and collaboration, is a purpose-driven entrepreneur, story sharer, passionate networker, and host of the Everything Home Talk radio show, podcast, and patriotic purpose-driven resource platform. One location for all of the information with takeaway items and resources to grow your business, enhance the quality of your life, and make a difference, especially in your communities. Michelle helps small business owners, entrepreneurs, and service providers stand out from their competition, stay top of mind, elevate their brand, and optimize their database of diamonds by becoming a purpose-driven business. Please give a warm GoPro cast. Welcome to my friend, Michelle Swinnick. Hey, welcome to the show. How are you? I love the music in the beginning. <laughs> I love the fact that you said special guest. I'm a very special guest. Yes. So to be on your show, Jeremy. Taurus. Well, thank you. Because thank there's you very no much. risk. There's no <laughs> risk when you deal with Jeremy. Taurus, he takes the risk out of everything. Yeah, I put the risk in for you. My last name is spelled too risk and my blood type is B positive. So how could you go wrong? <laughs> oh, that's uh, awesome. So uh, out of, as an homage to my uh, one of my heroes, my coaches, my friend, Steve Noodleberg, I start every show the same way. And I ask you to tell me something good. Tell you something good. It's Friday. TGIF. Woohoo. Now, actually, when you're a small business owner, that is the uh, one thing that it doesn't matter if it's Friday. It doesn't matter if it's Friday. It doesn't matter if it's Tuesday. That's what people say. They go, hey, it's TGIF. I said, and? Well, we, <laughs> say, date, we say TGIS. Yeah. We say TGIS, which is the grind includes Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't It doesn't matter. But as, as far as a good thing, uh, let's see. Uh, You've got, uh, well, I, when I did my show, there was 11 on Monday. So uh, there was 11 days till Christmas, Christmas Eve kept, for mm. me counts as Christmas, right? There was 18 days till New Year's. So what do we uh, subtract four or five days? So we're, we're right there at the end of the year. Oh, now, yeah. We have one week tomorrow, actually, or one week today if you count Christmas Eve. So, yeah, uh, which is it crazy. Is, it's so the good us. news is, the good news is, is uh, there's no more excuses, right? So the good, and, and it, it's motivation to get off your arses and literally don't take the foot off the accelerator. I listened, uh, I, I watched Grant Cardone. That's so I, great. I've never I've heard of the man. I, I mean, I've heard of him. Obviously, I don't think anyone who hasn't you know, have seen the big 10X somewhere. And uh, this is the first time I listened to him talk. He was doing kind of a impromptu or a, um, little seminar with his peers. So it wasn't, he was pitching people to buy his products and services. He, it was really like inside kind Is of that Uncle stuff. Grant, did you say? Huh? Who is that? Uncle yeah. Grant? Yeah, yeah. Uncle Grant. Yeah. I, I didn't even know that was a thing, but I was like, I heard that. I'm like, Oh, okay, he's an Uncle, Uncle Grant. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone loves Uncle Grant. I'm, he's right here. I'm, I'm in uh, Fort Lauderdale and he's in Aventura. So. Oh, so he's, of, uh, he's close by. He's, uh, he's opening up a new HQ here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, mm. I believe. It oh I think it made maybe yesterday or today it's uh it, it's a and his name's big on the building big on the building but what he said was <laughs> it's huge it's like I I'm not sure where it is but it's a really tall That's building funny. in Scottsdale <laughs> so I need to go go uh, go figure out where it is because his name is like I mean big you thought the 10x was big that he uses no and it's big <laughs> in the sky right so it's like Grant here welcome to Arizona That's, right and then, I love it though. He said, he said, it, this is the time of the year where he actually makes the most money because he doesn't take the foot off the accelerator. Most people are, are kind of winding down. They're saying it's the holidays, the end of the year. He says, oh, no, 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 because how you finish 2021 is how you start 2022. So we yeah. just go gung ho. And that is your good news today because we are now just reminding you there are no more excuses. And there's no more. Put a, a, the a foot on the accelerator. So that is your that is your good news tip for the day it is great great news the, the, the good news is that uh you know everybody it seems like is really embracing this virtual stuff uh it, it, 
a lot of bad stuff came with COVID, but a lot of great stuff did too. We can now teach and coach and help and touch more people with video and this Zoom stuff and StreamYard and VidYard and all these um, all these platforms than ever before. You know, you can keep talking on the phone, you just don't have that connection. And then, but if you have that uh, the ability like you have it in spades uh, to give that energy through video, the whole world just opened up, not just even the country. There, I'm helping people in England and, and mm-hmm. talking to people in Ireland, uh, just across the globe. And so there's so many people we can help that um, we never had really access to before. So uh, I, I prefer in person, especially doing keynote right. speeches and things like that. But I'll help you any way I can get you. If I can get to you, if I can help you, I'm, I'm there. So this is well, uh, the good thing about the video, too, Jeremy, is that it allows people to be more in contact with each other as a group setting. Right. That's the thing that I, that I think yes. is more valuable. This the one way thing where they do the Facebook lives. Yeah, I kind of get it. But that's it's not really the community. So people are kind of, you know, posting comments. But it, it's when you can have a like a, a group meeting, but not like a Zoom call for work kind of thing. I'm talking about where you're actually efficient, effective, and you're there because you want to be not not because yeah. your boss says you have to take this stupid <laughs> class. You know, it, 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 so you could use that. Obviously, like you said, in person is the best. Right. And, uh, I mean, video is something you have to do. I prefer, I love phone calls. Okay. I'm a phone person. Always have been <laughs> like back in the, back in the day, you know, I could be on the phone for hours before, you know, like when you're in high school or in like in college, things like that. Three, four, five, six hours, same person, no problem. I just go to town, right? I'm just, I love the phone. And I'm um, throwing co- phone cord around your ankle and around your wrist and playing with <laughs> Totally. <you>. totally. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, back back in the what, 70s, you, the phone was yellow or it was green or it was orange. Remember uh-huh. those? And it matched, it matched the washer. I mean, the, the washing oh. machine or not the washing machine. It matched the, the dishwasher, dishwasher, the stove, <laughs> the and the ashtray. And the ashtray, they all they all matched because the ashtray matched the phones, right? Because they were you know, they were orange, yellow, or green. Oh, oh good my days, gosh, right? the good old days! No, <laughs> not whatsoever. I will take today all day long. <laughs> oh, but but I'm it's glad that you brought up the days. video. How did you get started? I mean, uh-huh. just a little bit about how you got into. Um, I know you had a great radio background, which is, I guess, why you're just so natural in everything you do with uh, talking, teaching, and coaching, but how, tell us about how you got into broadcasting even a little uh, bit. It, it's, it is uh, not even an, an, an alarming or an, an exciting story. I always wanted to ha- be on like a radio show. I thought it was the coolest thing. So I meet this girl at a networking event here in Scottsdale. This back in 2001, I think it was 2001. And she she works you were for a, a radio broker. Is that right? Yeah, uh, you, yeah. Back in the day, broker? like who wasn't right? <laughs> who who wasn't <laughs> who wasn't a mortgage broker back in the day, right? Yeah. So I had my own mortgage brokerage company, right? I had an office, like uh, you know, like people there, people like. And this is back when you uh, you had employees. Remember what you know? Then they worked in the office, and you had to buy like pens and paper and computers and phone systems. Oh God, yeah. I don't even want to think about it. it Cost so much money, but anyway. Uh, so I'm, I meet this, she's like, I'm a d- business development or a whatever VP is something or other, you know, thinking it's a big kind of big operation, thinking it's a big deal position. I said, so what does it take? I need to, I, you know, I'd love to have a radio show. Like, what does it take? And she looks at me, she goes, you just need to write me a check. I said, what? <laughs> That's all you have to do. You have to pay me. <laughs> yeah. She's no, you just, you just write me a check and you can have your own show. I said, that's it. She goes, yeah. I said, okay, well, when, when can I start? She's, well, if you want, you can go on the air on Saturday. <laughs> I was nice. like, wait a second. Wait a second. So you mean, I just write you a check and this is like Wednesday. <laughs> I said, so I just write you a check Wednesday and then I can have a show and go on the air at like Saturday at 10. She's like, yeah, it's that easy. <laughs> I said, okay, wow. well, let's not just do it this Saturday. I would like to kind of figure out uh, what, what what the show's about and <laughs> what we're going to do. And I'd like a little help because I know nothing. Um, wow. Yeah. So that's, uh, that so you Arizona? too, oh, you too a, can uh, have California. a radio show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now everyone has, a, it's called a podcast. <laughs> Except but, it's. Was this it's, uh, in California? No, this is here in Arizona. Yeah. KFNX oh, was, was the first station. KFNX. Yeah. That was the first station I was on 11, uh, 1100 here in town 
Every Saturday oh, morning yeah. went live for an hour. Uh, yeah. And I paid four grand a month. Okay. That was $4,000 a month. Did you get that back in, uh, was the, you know, part of the marketing is basically this marketing expense. No, <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, listener. I'm sure I picked up some loans from it. Right. Cause it was a mortgage broker, but we didn't talk about mortgages. Like I did it as a commercial, but who wants to talk about mortgages? Nobody cares about mortgages. That's not fun. Nope. Nope. Uh, the interest rate today at the time was like 8.5%. Uh, you can get no money oh. down homes. Call us. <laughs> Who wants to listen to that for an hour? No Lordy. <laughs> so did you, were you just a, would go on there? Did you have guests and stuff? Did you invite some friends and just have like a party or <laughs> play records? Well, I had a co-host, which was my business partner. And I, uh, my advice to everyone, when you are going down the road of business partnerships, uh, mm. you need to kind of uh, work that as if it was a marriage that you are literally sleeping with that person and you're doing everything with that person. So uh, not to mention cover your arses with paperwork and insurance and other things like that. But we don't need to. Boom. Yeah. Cover Big yourself. Big things though. Oh, what is that? Oh, well, look at this. Well, that's, I love it. On that one. Yeah. That's a boom. boom. Yeah. yeah. That's a big boom. So yeah, that is something that you do not go into lightly. Literally just pretend it's like if you got divorced, it would be the worst divorce ever on the planet where you would literally be homeless under a bridge if that if you decided to divorce that person. So you better make so sure that you're with them for the rest of your life. Into the, uh, the everything home. Is that kind of where that started? Yeah, the name of the show was Your House is Your Home. So mm. it was it was a show where I had guests, we had guests come on, right? And we talked about similar things that we're talking about now. Like back in the day, I and this is when you didn't really, nobody was using computers, the internet. I mean, yes, you had them, but we weren't doing it to find people. Like, I don't even know how we found guests. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, I do. Because it's about relationships, okay? Like, oh, no, you know. Yeah, that one is a real one. Bam. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's a good one. <laughs> Go figure. Here, building relationships yeah, yeah. and i and i know that we're talking oh, video stuff and i know that we're talking you know everything's so modern but guess what all the guests that we had on the show which there was a whole bunch that were famous people came from the phone picked up the mm. phone picked up the phone figured out a phone number picked up the phone 500 pound phone <laughs> No landline, dude. I paid like seven grand for yeah, a landline at the office. They get paid for a phone a system. One. <laughs> so <laughs> it weighs so system. heavy, you get, get folded up all day. That's what most <laughs> salespeople think when they used to call. They look at that phone like it weighs 500 pounds. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> it's, it's all totally about perspective true. and mindset. Yeah. You know, it all, all comes back to that. Yeah, but like like I said, that's how. So I had one famous person on. I had Bob Proctor. This is before the movie The Secret, which everybody like all of a sudden. Mm. He, obviously, people knew who he was, but I wasn't really from that familiar with him. Right? Maybe a book or here or two or there, thinking grow rich type of stuff. But I got him on the show, and then I have Mark Victor Hansen who wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul. This is in two thousand four and five. Wow. Okay, yeah. Who, and you, who and knew? they were on a, right? a little AM station with your little regional with four, with, with four viewer with four listeners. One was listeners my mom. On the weekend. <laughs> right? Yeah, and I'm paying four grand a month. Like what? Wow. <laughs> This is what happens, people, when you have too much money and then you actually just want to, you know what I mean? You have to, eh, edit, you know what? I, it, it's all it's all good. It's all fine. If I would have never done it back then when I had the opportunity and I was really, you know, and I didn't put the money in and blah, 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 I wouldn't be where, yeah. it, you know, what I, you know, it's all, it's, it, you'll end up where you end up because that's what you're supposed to end up. So your experiences are your collection of all the experiences. And uh, somebody asked me today, I was on a, a chat with some people and they said if i could do anything over again or give my a younger self advice you know what would it be and i was like I, I hate that question because i really wouldn't change anything because it would change the trajectory of where i am and who i am and maybe i'd be better who knows i probably could use that too but uh, i really am uh, not a fan of looking backwards too much uh, other, other than not to repeat the same mistakes uh, but no i'm happy with everything that i've done and we all have dumb things we've done want to do over, but without the mistakes, you know, yeah, that, that gives you your flavor. I don't know. Joe Rogan says it best that he, I don't know anybody who's interesting, who's had a good life. <laughs> <laughs> People right. are boring. Right. Give me a, a messed up person any day of the yeah. week to have a conversation with, because that's how you get your flavor. What'd you call uh, it? When yeah. I asked you about some of your story and we talked, you're like, what do you want to know? My jelly? What did you say? <laughs> no, my jam. 
<laughs> See, yeah, I just, so I so I ha I have the roommate, right? Because I have a roommate. Because because you know it's, but it actually helps. It's good for me not to be alone because it would people would be like, Michelle, what is that? Sounds like you're having a party. No, it's just me all by myself. So it actually is a good cover that there's another body in the house. <laughs> it does not sound like there's like insanity going on there. What's what the hell is going on in that house down the street? Yeah, the disco so he, uh, bulb is. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, like, he's like what? Yeah, it's like it's like rocking and rolling at four in the morning because <laughs> she's crazy. She didn't go to sleep yet. And uh, he says, uh, what's why? When, why did you start saying jam? Like I heard you say jam like twice on your show. And and I guest host on brighttown.tv for Dr. Alan Keyes and Dr. John Diamond on their shows oh, a couple times great. a month. Yeah, isn't that great? And uh, I said jam on the show. And he goes, why are you saying jam? I said, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, and I caught myself saying it, but it was too late. It already slipped out of my mouth because I'm like, all right, what's let's, what's going on? Tell me about you. What's your jam? Like, we're going to be friends or what? Like, that was my it. my collaboration call with somebody who actually is kind of a big deal. Damn. And the lady <laughs> goes like this. So we started talking. We have a great time. And then, you know, because you, like, you want to go for the clothes, right? You want to go for the clothes. Are we going to move forward? Are we going to do something? Are we going to network? Are we going to collaborate? Like, what are we going to do? Especially, it turns out she's here too, which is awesome, right? Because I do, I do love the in-person thing, remember? That's my big thing. That's my jam. Yes. It's worth my in-person. <laughs> if, if, you know, if you have to do video, fine. Then we go, yes, we'll do that phone call. But otherwise, oh, I'm showing up at your house, right? Let's do that. Yeah. So, so my clothes now is <laughs> after you've had this phone conversation with somebody, you're like, you know, you, you can tell within the first couple of minutes whether it's going to mm -hmm. be, you know, is this gonna, person going to be my friend or not? So That's I'm like, right. my clothes is, all right, so are we going to be friends or what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's, and she goes, I, yeah, you're the coolest chick I've ever met. And I went, okay, well, that's it. awesome. Meanwhile, she's kind of a big deal in business. So I'm like, this is really cool that, and that's where, you know, that's what I guess, that's where kind of where I am now at the point where, and this is what I, I'm trying to ex express to people and I'm encouraging to jump on the train with us. You know, business is church, you know, business isn't stuffy. I, I, business is a part of you. You're a part of your business. A lot of people like to separate. I said, why, why are you separating business from you? It was, but yes, if you're corporate. Okay. I get it. So if you work at some, you know, crazy corporate, you yeah. know, type of stuffy yep, company, you're like or a something. cool person. I get it. Okay. That's separate. But for the ones who are the service providers, the entrepreneurs, the small business owners, or even the nonprofit groups, your business is an extension of yourself, right? That's why I'm, my thing, my, my jam is to become a purpose-driven business because it's more than just making money, right? And it's really what it is, where, what your values are, what you believe in, you know, who do you support when that's when people want to work with you. They want to work with people who are like-minded. They want to, they want to, they want to work with people that's right. who have the same <laughs> values and beliefs. It's literally like 63% of people want to work or buy from products and services from businesses that support the community that support a nonprofit organization and believe in what they believe. So if that's what the people want, why are, and you want it too, you, you need to tell them that, Hey, this yes. is, this is, I do this. Oh, well, we didn't know. Cause you didn't tell us. Oh, because I just yeah. tried to keep everything separate. My business, my life, but you work no, all day. That, why yeah, are you? And that, that really separate? leads it's to not, uh, the unhappiness too. That's rampant in corporate uh, USA and entrepreneurship. Um, I, I'm a certified a uh, trimetric, you know, assessor, personality, behavioral uh, assessment, take uh, test giver. Uh, and you have an adaptive style and a natural style. And they, you're, you'd be amazed how many natural style, which is your true self. But when they go to work, they have this adaptive style that they mm. try to. And, and where do you spend most of your time with? Awake. And that's at work around people collaborating and trying to communicate and trying to succeed. And if you're not being your true self, you're not happy. You're just not happy. So if you don't like your job, it probably starts with you trying to be something that you're not. So to be a mind, you know, take that shift and, and make everyone just understand being yourself is really the first step into being happy mm -hmm. at what you're doing. And so yeah. that, it's a powerful, it's a powerful uh, tool that we are using now for the companies that we help.
Yeah, I think it's brilliant. You you were going to send me the link or something so I could learn more about myself and how to fix me. Like, how do I fix me? You take this test. Well, yeah, I already what, know what you're going to read said. out. And, and it's, <laughs> it's going so to be fun. Jeremy, how do I fix me? He's take the test. Take the test. Yep. I, 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 let me make a second note because uh, I will send that to you today. I, that's I, need, be I need the help. I need, <laughs> this is the season, remember? <laughs> no, you we're don't putting, need any help. <laughs> we're putting the foot on the accelerator, Jeremy. So I need all the tools that I can in my toolbox and I need to be using them. That's because it's it's time. Yeah. It is time. And that's, and, and going back to my point about, you know, per, getting your business more to match you. And then obviously you want to let the world know about that, right? Because you don't want to be the world's best kept secret, right? You don't want to be hidden. Oh, you want everyone to know. Uh, yeah. What, I wish so I had, you know, I wish I had Brad Lee's bomb. Oh, he has like, dropping bombs of the big smoke and the big atom bomb. I have melt the walls, which is great for you too. But the podcast people at home, they don't hear anything. But I'm I, the mall. The walls are melting. They're on fire. <laughs> I've got to put a sound effect to that one. <laughs> yeah, we got, I went. I went like truth bomb. <laughs> boom! Right? Went, boom! <laughs> The yeah, I can't rip there. them off. But I had the, the melting walls. <laughs> just a cool graphic. <laughs> but <laughs> it it's a cool. great point. You know, everyone just um, to brand themselves, which uh, really video is helping evolve that more and more. And I'm a yeah. humongous backer of the uh, the virtual coffee, which is what we had. And it's to get to know people on a personal level, not a transactional level to broaden your orbit of the people that you want in your life. And so you're spreading your message really one person at a time. So to scale that takes consistency, but it can be scaled just like any other method. Mm -hmm. But now these relationships are rock solid. They want to help you. You want to help them. And yeah. so that's really the business I'm in is this uh, personal relationship building one person at a time like we did. We have a very real connection now because mm -hmm. we started off kind of knowing about each other and, and it was amazing how much from Arizona to South Florida we have in crossover and common and uh -huh. energy. You are a bunny, an energizer bunny more than me, which I don't meet that rarely. Yeah. You're With going, the symbols going, going, going so or he's banging the drum. I forget which one, which one That's he does. That's the symbol. Yeah. And the drum too behind him. <laughs> but you, uh, right. you have so much going on your connection list because you touch so many people on so many platforms every single day must be ginormous. Well, I realized it w was pretty intense. And I just looked at the people that have come on my show. I've had 300. Let me look at the numbers because I just updated them yesterday. In uh, I started going live with my show in November of last year because I said, you know, by the time you do the podcast and you send it to the podcast production company and they edit it and they go ahead and do the blog and then it's out there. It's like a week and a half. And I'm... Uh, no, I need now. I need now, right? Yeah. And then, because you know, don't forget, I had the radio bug back in the day. Remember, uh, the lady said, "I said, what do I do to get a show?" She goes, "Write me a check." I said, "No problem," right? So you know, yeah. I already, I already have an issue there, right? Yeah. Right. So there's already a problem. There's a problemo with my. Yeah. I need to get on the air live, and I need to do problem stuff now. A problem with perks, I call those. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. I need to do it now. I obviously show that I have. I can't wait. So. um, what I started doing was I started going live and then I'm like, why one guess when you can have five, <laughs> then all of a sudden, why, why, yeah. why would I not do, why would I not have five people? Right. Cause then I can have all kinds of information and great people. And then I, uh, I, then I start meeting some people that, uh, and I start digging in, in my database and contacting some of the, you know, more kind of the more important, the well-known, the famous people, mm. you know, the famous people. And I said, well, I, they need a little more than seven minutes because they yeah. they warrant that. Not to mention, they're not going to just do it for seven minutes. They're not going to well, you know, give me their time if they can't get on there and kind of peddle their wares for more than seven minutes. So I was like, yeah. So to right, get well, to, to me, bring loop the, the audio, my audience in, you have a show now, which your, your broadcast show morphed into is a live show across oh, just dozens, I think, of platforms. You can, you can hear uh, yeah. everything home across every platform. You do that every Monday, right? Monday. At, uh, I think it's noon 12. Eastern. It's a nooner 12. with Michelle. Nooner. It's a nooner. It's nooner with so Michelle, mountain but it's not time. Eastern. Yeah. It's 12 uh, Mountain. Mountain time. Mountain time. I'm in the mountain. I am in Merrick Corruption County, Anarchy, Arizona. So you might, you know, mm. we had something we, we had something called an audit. Probably you might have heard it. I'm not quite sure. Not a lot of people knew about it, but we had so I, I call it Merrick Corruption County. 
because mm-hmm. there's, there's, there's a lot of, and that's not the only shenanigans. This is very, this is a very, uh, without a, doing a segue and, and throwing Arizona under the bus. It's a great state, but there are, a, there's a lot of, um, uh, old boys network shenanigans. Yeah. Let's just leave it. So at you're, that. you're in the let's, just, of it. let's just leave it at that. And that's business and that's political and that's community and that's all of the above. So yeah. 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 Old boys network. So, so that, uh, your show though runs at, at, uh, 12 mountain every Monday and you have seven guests on for the first hour, seven minutes, five guests, seven oh, minutes, five guests, five, five guests, guests seven, each minutes. Get seven minutes. Right. And they're eclectic. There's they're from different cross. You're not talking about the same. Every guest Diversity. brings, some, brings a little it? bit of different jam to the, to the phone, to the table. Right. Diversity and inclusion. Right. Isn't that what this is all about? Isn't that because I was reading like I, I said, well, I need diversity and inclusion on my show. So mm. and I'm kind of being a little circuit. If you listen to this show, then you then you'll listen to this and go, oh, I know what she means now. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'll just we'll just. Yeah, it it's, is, it's <laughs> everything home, everything that impacts you as a person in your home, and your community. Everything. And you, well, your- and, and before COVID, you know, people would were, we didn't realize how important their home was, right? And this mm-hmm. and I came up with the name a long time ago, right? Because the, my whole my you know, my jam, my whole jam back when I did the radio show, I had a mortgage company, and before that, I was a real estate and I was in real estate, right? So I was I've always been about the house as a structure, right? And not necessarily really realizing it's so much more than the actual physical structure and the right. the contents inside the house really i mean it's where you start your day and it's where you end your day it's where the most important people in your life either live or gather and it is you know it's it's your personal sanctuary too right i mean you're this is where this is where it all goes down this is where this is everything yeah. right and so it's all about it's about making you and it's not, it's not really, there's nobody that comes on my show in the category of anything that has to do with, well, there's a few, but it's, it's not very often where it comes to the physical things in the house. Like we're, we don't talk mortgages. We don't talk real estate agents on the show because we don't need that. We don't need to go down that road. What, 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 mm-hmm. what can, what, what don't you know about either of those categories at this point? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, or who, who doesn't, um, so, so, and you know, I mean, as far as contents and stuff, but it's really, it's about your community. It's about you. So, and it is now, of course, you, once, once you have the COVID, once the COVID comes around, all of a sudden everybody's home, everybody's doing business from their mm-hmm. house. So all of a sudden yeah. your business really becomes in your house, which is kind of like all, you know, all of these things, like I basically the whole show, the premise of the show which is then extension to the website because it's all about promoting the people that are on the show, the three categories. I call them the three pillars, like the three pillars, the three legs to the stool of humanity. So I'm like, well, I said, I wanted to say life, but I'm like, I'm using life as one of them. So I'm like, I'm going to make it bigger. So it's the, yeah. it's the three, the three legs to the stool of humanity, which is business, life, and community. Right. There you so go. we're, yeah. we're, we're giving you take action items, right? You're meeting some <laughs> amazing people that are small business owners, entrepreneurs, purpose-driven people, community leaders, influencers, experts, so you can grow your business, enhance the quality of your life, and make a difference, especially in your communities, because I, you need balance in all of them, right? So if you're just a total business person, all you think about is business all day, uh, your life's probably a little lopsided. Your relationship's yeah. probably not yeah. so great. Health, eh, when's the last time you, uh, you know, you uh, exercised? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, probably, you yeah, probably didn't probably. even know that there's such thing called a uh, city council or the, <laughs> you have no idea what's going on in your community. Yeah. Uh, so you can't, you got to have a little bit of balance. You don't have to be you don't have to be uh, an expert in every category. But what the part of the strategy was is not only to create balance for people, right, but also to give them um, a bunch of content all within a short period of time. Because yeah, and for people it, like me who are attention deficit uh, you know, oh, already, yeah. that's, that's, that seven minutes is great because bam, bam. And then the second hour We're is your long next. form, kind of your VIP, but yeah, it really is a nice, a nice in and out, bam. If you don't like what you hear, hit mute, check some voicemail, come back, you know, check some email, come back. You got someone else on there. Yes. And, and, uh, it, it gives some, some diversity to the topics and, uh, you know, the attention span of people like similar goldfish, eight, nine seconds. So I was like, you know, the longer ones. And the thing is, is sometimes the cool thing is, is the people that I'm interviewing for the long form interviews are either somebody that I'm like, 
I would look up to or somebody that I've been lightly stalking for a little bit that I need to get on the show or <laughs> yeah, a friend. I guess, so I if resemble we're doing, that comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a, it's a friendly stalking. It's a light stalking. It's not like, you know, <laughs> I'm not looking, peering through your window. I mean, I'm not like in the bush. I'm not doing one of these, but I yeah, need to get creepy, you on the show. Not so. creepo, creepers, but uh complimentary, <laughs> you know, friendly, it's friendly stalking. Um, so, so they, but the thing is, is that even so, or they're, they're friends of mine, they become friends of mine. So when we have a longer conversation, it's interesting for me, but it, before I had a relationship where it was somebody, like I said, that I really wanted to have on the show, what I was doing, when I was getting the longer interviews, I mean, I was stretched, we might've been 20, 25 minutes into it. And I'm like, unless it was somebody who really had something amazing, I'm like, all right, I'm done with this conversation and I got another 25 minutes. I mean, I can stretch it and I can make it awesome and entertaining, but I don't, (laughs) I don't, I'm done. I'm done because I got the gist of what I needed and the rest of it is just, eh, you know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm saying that. And I, 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 can you imagine what the the people are saying? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I'm I'm the one on the mic and I'm like mm, kind of done. So that's why I was like, all right, seven minute segments with we'll jam pack it with information. And the other thing too, I wanted people to kind of kind of do this, right? You know, I would think that we're a little bit all more evolved, right? And I'm using I'm using all these these uh, these these great words that you hear on on the TV all the time. You know what I mean? Like in the media. <laughs> the propaganda words. So we've all become a little bit more evolved, right? And especially if, if, if we're doing well in certain areas, you know, it's kind of almost like our civic duty to know a little bit about a, kind of a lot of things that might not apply to us, but might apply to somebody else, right? Because I, I, there's a guy, his name's Zig. I think it's Zig, Zig, uh, Zig Ziglar, something like that. Zig Ziglar. Something like that. Yeah, Zig Ziglar. Master oh, salesman. Yeah. I'm just kidding. So anyway, the Zig Ziglar guy, the Zig Ziglar guy, he said something. He said something like, if you help enough people get what they want, then you'll get something like you'll get what you want, right? So can you imagine if you, and I'm not saying you need to be an expert in every category because, you know, nobody needs to do that, but you need to know it just about kind of a a bunch of different things that might not necessarily apply directly to your life. You you know, what's in it for me? Why would I have to listen to this person talk about Mm. this nonprofit organization about domestic Mm. abuse, Michelle? Well, Mr. Angry Man, maybe because there's somebody in your world that could use this recommendation or referral. Or maybe if you pay attention to what's going on in uh, your own little sphere here, you're going to notice some signs and then you're going to say, oh, my God, that's my sister. And I had no Uh, idea that there is an issue. And I'm only saying this because I use this example because it actually is so much more rampant than uh, than um, the domestic abuse thing, then then people even realize it's like one in four women and one in seven men. Okay, that's, oh, a, yeah. that's that's a high number. Okay, and that's yeah, what's yeah. just reported. So can you imagine what it really is? So and yep. uh, so you know you need to know a little bit of it just because not only if you have information that is not something that's normally uh, you know what you talk about, you, uh, you you might actually just become more of an interesting person, right? Well, so there you like, go. Yeah, you should, you a little show, bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Like Jim showed up at the party. He's not so angry, and we had an actual like, conversation with Jim. Like who knew he knew so much cool stuff? Yeah, oh my that God! Reminds me like of that airplane scene where the lady's going, Jim usually. Never has a second cup of coffee at home. (laughs) (laughs) Great scene, great movie. (laughs) Oh, but these things come Um, into our lives really in a very timely manner on purpose, too. And if we just kind of open our eyes to see, you know, I'm listening to this. And if you open it, like you said, open your mind. And then all of a sudden you're going to see something and you go, wow, I just heard someone talk about this. That's because that was going to happen. And this is going to help that person. Right. And it goes back to our networks. It's like, uh, for Zig, he's the top salesman of ever, right? Motivation speaker. But it's the best thing to do for a sale is the introduction. The second best thing is a is a referral, and then of course the last one is just kind of meeting on your own, having a customer come in. But that referral or the introduction, when you open up these people to that network, and now I can introduce somebody to you, or introduce somebody that was on your show. And refer them. That's so, that gives you so much more credit in their bank, in their eyes, in their memory, and then you know it just comes back ten times to your point. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's you're giving people a lot of at bats with your with your content and a lot of places. I don't know how you do that. That must be a full time job in itself, keeping all those platforms current. Uh, well, the, the the good thing is is that uh, people are jumping on board to help because that's the whole point. I started a month ago. I said, you know what? I looked at, and this is kind of back to what we were. Uh, I don't want people to think we're jumping all over. It's just a lot of stuff, right? So we're oh. you're, you're doing a great job guiding me through this uh, these treach these these, these these waves, right? So um, what what happened was, and, and this goes back to collaboration. This goes back to the phone kind of thing, and actually creating this amazing network. So when I realized I had 304 guests that were just on this live portion, I started. As I go through and, and I invite and I invite, you know, I give them the opportunity because I want to have a networking and awesome community, right? I want them to work yeah. with each other. I want them to refer each other, yeah. right? Because they they have something in common. They have something in common with the show. Pick up the phone and start networking with one another. Go make magic. Go get married. Whatever you want to yeah. do. So I'm just trying to bring cool people all together in one spot. Yeah. Dump them in, you know, dump them in and say, go make some magic together. Buy and sell each other's stuff promote, collaborate, network, blah, blah, blah. And then the audience too. I want them to go ahead and use this as a resource because these are all like-minded people. They're doing it because they are purpose-driven, which means they're not just doing it for the money. They're not peddling no, their wares no, no. to to just try to sell you a bunch of stuff or like, as, as I use the example, an empty box, right? How many times have you taken a course or you've done, you bought this and then you're just you kind of like, I didn't get a lot out of that. And there was a comma in it, like comma, meaning uh, there was four digits and there was comma, yes. which means you're over a thousand dollars. And you're like, I didn't yeah. really get a lot out of it. And I had to do everything myself. And then now what? And then I'll, well, okay, well, they said, just wait till the next one comes out or buy this other thing. And you're like, okay, I, I'm spending all this money. And yeah, baby steps I, I'm bankruptcy. standing by myself. I'm, I'm standing here alone. Like, what do you, what, what, this is crazy. Like, so no, 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 no. We, my whole thing is just the opposite of that. Provide so much more value in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a cost of, oh, I don't know. Listen to this show. It's free for now, right? Because we're working on it. Because Michelle's got to pay bills. So I'm going to have to start charging you peeps. Start, <laughs> I'm giving you hundreds of thousands of dollars of free content. And at some point, I got to stop. I got to stop. And I got to yep. say, hey, and no mas, peeps, right? Well, so, everything has an end, end purpose. And you work backwards. <laughs> but you got to start building the audience. You got to start. You got to start. And I'm telling you, I've talked to you about some of your offerings. And we get we go into some of those later because you're you're – You've already been nice enough to give our audience who's listening to this show uh, some great offers here. But uh, you do have some, even at full price without your your gift here, some great um, packages. So what what are your um, your two main packages, right? You have two main kind of services that you offer beyond the, the talk stuff. Yeah, and there's more coming, but that's what's coming oh, yes. in I the future there. is going to be mind-blowing, okay? And Jeremy's a part of it, so you better watch out, peeps. Like... What's coming is literally the ultimate collaboration yes. package, networking, mastermind, summit that you can be a part of. And it's all about, and I mean, it's networking, it's personal, it's life, it's community. It is, you don't need to go anywhere else. And like, literally, I'm just doing a teaser. Yeah. It is going to be like the mother load of all participation groups that you're going to be like, I, everything is right here. I just, and it's I love these people. Hot. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's a little teaser. That's it's a little teaser and it's coming soon. <laughs> yeah. Give those bombs. Boosh. Boosh. Yeah. So, oh. so oh, you want me to tell you uh, the packages? Oh, right? what, We're gonna have it, it's called, what is it called? The course, uh, the, 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 um, oh, how to unleash, how to unleash. Yeah. and optimize your database of diamonds to never pay for marketing again. Right. It's an, how and, to unleash and optimize your database of diamonds to never right. pay for marketing again. Yes. Yes, sir. That is correct, sir. That is correct. So, <laughs> that's that's and, an awful, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's normally $47, but for your peeps, I'm knocking off 20%. The course isn't finished yet, but it'll be done in like two weeks. It's in post-production kind of thing. And it's really easy. And I'm going to also offer free membership into our collaboration consortium, which is on multiple platforms. And so the price is only $37. Now what you're going to do, this is very easy. All you got to do is join our newsletter. So when you join the newsletter, when this comes out, you'll see it in the newsletter. You'll hear about it on the show. And then um, if you want to buy it, you, you get the discount. You'll get the discount. So if you go to everythinghomeaboutus.com, everythinghomeaboutus.com, 
The cool thing about this is a it's like a table of contents. It gives you all mm. of the links for all the different awesome pages on the website as a resource because it's about business, mm. life, and community. Literally everything on our website is – you start there first. And then if you can't find something that you need, an answer to a resource, a person, a product, a service, then go ahead and use Google, right? Because the goal of all this is to tap into your database of diamonds, tap into my database of diamonds. I'm tapping yes. into the database of diamonds of everybody that comes on my show. So we have this amazing referral network, right? And that's why we're really trying to get everyone to jump in and participate. That's why we're, we're teaching you how to do it with these classes or the actual course. And then I'm actually bringing you in so you can do it with us together yes. in the groups, different platforms like Clubhouse and Club uh, Clout Hub and Facebook. I'm not a Facebook fan, but there's a lot of people on Facebook. So I'm going to take yes, advantage yeah, of Mark Zuckerberg and of I'm going to world. use it. And then I'm going to take all his people away, right? So I'm going to take them, <laughs> I'm going to bring them, anyway. I'm going to hurt them together and I'm going to take them away. So he can't steal your data and make money off of you and, oh, and, boy. and censor you and shadow ban you. So anyway, um, so there's a lot. So if you go on that, it'll table content. So it'll have most recent episodes. It'll have links to listen to us live because we live stream on all the plat all the all the social media platforms, plus on Blog Talk Radio. And then it turns automatically into a podcast and we're on 25 different platforms. So you can always listen on your favorite podcast player. You can listen on on, on the website. But if you look there, it has all the links for everything. Now, here's a business tip for everybody. This is, you know, because they always say, what's your call to action? What's your call to action? Oh, you only want to give one, one website because otherwise you're, you're lucky mm. if someone's paying attention to even write it down or remember yeah. it in the first place. So you want to only give one. So this is uh, this website, right? So you I reserved the domain name, cost me $5.98. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's very expensive. So now that's mine, right? So then I go ahead, write everything home about us. So you want to know, you want to know everything about us? Literally, there's a laundry list of all these different things. And it's through launch Love links. It. A lot of people use Linktree. Well, Linktree told me to go pound sand last summer. So I was like, boom, I'm a bash you link tree because they're like, you're against our community standards. So I'm like, uh, this has been here a year and all of a sudden you, you, you don't like my website links. Okay. Whatever. So I'm right. like, I'll find somebody else who does want like the truth, who loves to go ahead and spread joy on the planet earth. Okay. So launch yeah. links. It's a free account. It'll always be a free account. So then you can set up, you could set up all like descriptions and you can put the link there and you can have multiples. I mean, it can go layers and layers. So everything literally, I loaded this sucker up. So it has, if you want all the social media links, you'll click yes. on that and then it goes to another page. So then they're all separated and you can put little emojis and you can put little graphics and stuff. I like and it. It, it. So just one thing. And then you link your Web, your domain name that you reserve for $5.98 through our marketplace. So if you go on our website and you'll see marketplace, it only, and there's a promo code. I got it on there for you. So you get like 20 or 30, I think it's 20% off. So then now you yeah. go ahead and you tie the two of them together, which takes literally a minute. And now you don't have to give, Oh, well, here's me on social. Here's me on Facebook. Here's my, Here's my uh, handle on Twitter. Every week, or whatever they call new it. One, the new, the new best one. All right, every week. Right, right, and you don't, and so that way they, and you can always add things. You can take it off. You can, you can put it like if you have a special offer, you can go ahead and stick it at the top. You can move it around so that, and then if it, it's something you want to just do for a certain time, you can actually launch it as a campaign where it'll only go for a certain amount you know, like for 30 days or something. Yeah. So yeah, you, it's, and it's free. It's free. Why would you not want to do that? Right. So then right. that way everything's organized. It's all in one spot. So it's like, what? it's like a, it's like a menu. It's a menu. To sort of, if they want the soup of the day, they click the soup of the day. And if yeah. they want the, uh, they want soup the, uh, the, yeah, they want the <laughs> soup de jour because it's fancy en France, you know? So if they want that, they can get that. But if they want a baked potato, Hey, then they just click the baked potato. So you get them everything like you it. want. So and that then is the, uh, everything done for you is a, another offer that you are just oh, the service the that you offer for people too, right? This is the best. Okay. This is the best. There is so much, uh, there's so much in this that I've talked to a lot of people that are in the caliber like yourself and other people who do all of these, everything done for you offers. And they said, Michelle, you're priced like half. I said, I know. And they yeah. said, you going to increase that? I said, well, you know what? <laughs> For right now, no, only because then I have to update everything, like the papers and, <laughs> and the website. <laughs> and she's like, Michelle, you one, you, I said double the cost. Double the cost is where you need to be. 
because I just wanted to provide so much value. That's my problem. Like I give away yeah, too much. You are a go-giver okay. for sure. I'm a giver. A I'm a lover. I'm a lover and a giver and yeah, I don't have any pets. Like so I, you know, and so my- You're a sister from another <laughs> mister. That's for sure. We're cut from the same cloth. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Just so people know, and I, then I'll, I'll mention this real quick is how much time do we have? When, when, when are you kicking me off? When is that cane and that hook going to come well, across? Well, we, we can keep me? going until we get bored and then <laughs> people can stop listening whenever they want. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, you can push rewind, you can push fast forward, you can click delete, whatever works exactly. for you guys. You know, I get it. I get it. It's just whatever, whatever mood you're in. But I, just, I did want to say this like, I did the virtual coffee uh, with Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And well, uh, well, basic. Well, let me, let me back up because I want I want people to realize, okay, um, the value in these. Because I started doing these collaboration calls with everybody on my show, and I know I'm jumping around, but just stick with me, guys. Stick with me. It's full circle. It all goes full circle, right? It's the daily huddle. Is that or does it say the daily cuddle? What is on your chest, oh, there, is, sir? Uh, the daily cuddle is awesome, but this is the daily huddle, <laughs> which is where I learned, and I didn't wear this on purpose about the virtual coffee from the Noodlebergs. It's the the Noodleberg daily huddle on LinkedIn. And uh, every morning at eight, these are my heroes. These are my gurus, my coaches. They coach my whole family. They're friends. Um, oh, and that, that community yeah. is booming. So it's a um, daily huddle. Daily That's huddle. where, oh, yeah, not a problem with there. But that mm -hmm. is where you got uh, to, we, we had the virtual coffee. Comes from uh, from Stephen and Mark Noodleberg, pretty much inventing that back. Uh, Noodleberg's their real uh, name? Noodleberg's the real name and the real deal, too. Authentic and that's not and a stage name. And, okay. No, I'm, you wouldn't make that it. up. <laughs> yeah, Noodleberg. Hey, Noodleberg. That. What a great you name. Not in high school. Noodleberg. Afterwards. <laughs> in high school, not so much. That could have been just a mess. But afterwards, yeah. cool last name. Yeah. Yes. Noodleberg. So they, so, yeah, that's where. So we had our great virtual coffee. It's right. But off. here's the thing, people. Right. So the the uh, and I'm going to tell you that, but I'm going to I'm going to lead up to where these the how this collaboration calls you're calling it virtual coffee. I call it collaboration calls because I don't want you to think that uh, I'm telling you to like buy this buy this course. And then I'm also telling you to participate in our groups because I'm just, I'm just giving you theory, right? I'm just, oh, because other people said it worked. No, I actually physically started doing it like hardcore and yes. I'm living the results now. And I have proof beyond belief concept that it does work. These collaboration calls, virtual coffees, right? So I realized that, and that's where this whole, like this whole idea of the database of diamonds came up. So basically over the past year, these live guests that have been coming on, amazing people, right? Some of them are famous, but a lot of them, you don't necessarily know their name, but they're better than the people that go on stage that charge a whole bunch of money to buy their stuff. And that's why when they keep coming, every day, they're, they're doing, doing it, but it. they're good, but they're yes. good too. I mean, they are, they're engaging yeah. in the conversation. It's the seven minute deals. They come on once a month. I invite people once they become a guest on the show. And I, they, they become partners because guests come and go partners are there to stay. Right. And I want this yes. to be a community. And I want the audience to get to know them because you, when they come on the show once, once a month, it, you know, schedule pending, you know, some people it's every two months or so, or if something happens in the next I'm, thing, I'm you know, a month or a month, every, he's I'm a the month first month he's of every month I'm on January 3rd, kicking January 3rd. off the year 2022, January. pull January through 3rd. the wall. Yeah. We got to we kick off January with a bang That's kicking right. off January yeah. with, with, with the master. So, uh, so, uh, <laughs> what I when I, when I, cause I keep track of the guests, right. Cause I got to know the categories, what they're doing. I know everything about them. A lot of the times I'm, I know I end up knowing more about them than they do themselves when they come on for some of the segments. And it's, and it's great because you can tell the ones that I've developed a friendship with a per, and a relationship with them. Yeah. Some of them was just because they come on the show and they jump on the air. Right. And we just hit it off because you can, they're, they're good people doing good business and good things. Right. And then some I've built a relationship afterwards. And some of these people have actually become really good friends of mine, right? This is kind of crazy. So I started looking at the, the spreadsheet one day. because I'm old school. Everything's on an Excel spreadsheet. I still use tons of pens and paper. It's just, mm -hmm. just how I roll. I told everybody, make sure that when, when, you, when you turn on the show, you want to grab your pen and paper and you want to put on your common sense cap. You want to leave it on all day, preferably sleep on it, tell, sleep in it, tell all your friends and wear their common sense caps too. It's the only way you're going to get through this planet. And- <laughs> I looked common at the database. So common, unfortunately. <laughs> I 
know people, you know, <laughs> cognitive thinking or, or uh, what is it? Uh, critical, critical thinking. thinking God forbid. And... Yeah, that went out the window. Well, we're getting it back yeah. though. We're getting it back. We're bringing sexy back. We're bringing back critical bringing thinking and we're bringing back. back common sense. Okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> So uh, we're bringing it back just like sexy, you know, like, uh, so, um, so I looked at the spreadsheet and went, oh my God, this is incredible. The people that are on here and these people need to know each other. There's no reason yeah. why these people are not working together. And then I said, wait a minute, this is just the people I've had on the show. This is not including people that I've known for years, people that I, that I've worked with people that I, that I've had as, that I have as clients or had as clients. And then mm. I was like, and that's not including people in social media. That's not in people that I went to high school with that are like extremely successful, but there's no reason why I'm not doing business right. with them when they, when I could buy and sell their products and services just because I haven't talked to them in 25 years, but I liked them back then. Right. And I'm like going yes. in college and everything else. Right. So I was like, wait a second. Uh, and if then I have a bunch of these cool people, I have a feeling they have other cool people too that they know right. that are in their network. Wait a second. Like I think what I think I'm onto something here, peeps. I think I'm on to something. I was like, literally, this is a database of diamonds that we're Love no one's name. tapping into it because you'll never boom yeah boom we love that boom <laughs> yeah no we're no one's tapping into it like what what are we so stupid like the first thing that we do when we need something like a product or service what do we do we google it oh, hello hello i believe yeah. When you were young right back when we were young there was something called stranger danger right didn't they mm. tell us stranger two things that i remember from school one is actually good. One is bad. One was stranger danger. Okay. Never talk to the strangers. Don't open door for strangers. Don't talk to strangers and uh, don't go near strangers. Okay. It still applies today. Everybody still applies today. So the first thing that we do is we go and Google. Okay. Oh, I need, I need, I need, I need, a, I need a guy to do this. Let me Google it. Whoa, yep. whoa, no, time out. No. What yep. happened to calling your buddy and saying, Hey, I need somebody to uh, take care of my landscape. Oh, yes. Jim's great at that. Jim, Jim, Jim does a lot of things. Did you notice that? Did you know Jim? Not yeah, only sure. does he, he have that seven <laughs> cup of coffee, he's now actually listening about community. He and knows he's a lot helping. of good he's landscapers. <laughs> in his job, he's more pleasant at parties. Jim does a lot of things. Jim also has a landscape business. Okay, people. So when she <laughs> when she says no 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 don't don't use Google don't you know what what do you, do you need oh I need to see what the ratings or the 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 reviews are which most of them are fake anyway right so how yeah. do you know that they're even real? And, and as a Mom bot, thinks he's a bots, catch. Yeah, like whatever. So then, you know, call your friend, say, Hey, Susie, because Susie's the other one. Hey, Susie, do you know landscaper? Oh, Jim's the best. Call Jim. Okay. What happened to that? Right. What happened yeah. to personal relationships and relying on your friends who already went through the pain and suffering of vetting and research and hiring and firing? And then they finally, finally found someone that was worthwhile, that showed up, that charged a reasonable amount. Uh, let them do the hard work for you. Like if, if you can outsource, right. And aren't they all talking about outsourcing? Like, you know, do your yes. VAs and get it off your plate and you can't do that. Well, do the same thing with the product services and the things that you need and the people that you want in your world. Somebody's already done the heavy lifting. Well, good. It's one less thing I need to do. So if Jeremy tells me here's 10 awesome people that you need to know, Michelle, or here's right. 10 awesome people that do these certain things. So use them when you need to. Oh, good. I don't have to do any homework. I don't have to do right. any research. All I know is I'm going to call that person. And if, if, if what they have matches what I need for the cost, right? So let's just say one of Jeremy's friends is like, Michelle, I, I would love to work here, but it's $10,000. And I'd be like, <laughs> I think you're awesome, but there's no way in hell I'm going to pay that kind of price. <laughs> so it's just right. But then he, I talked to one of his other friends and he goes, Michelle, I'd love to work with you, but, and it's $500. And I said, well, uh, where do I sign? See what I mean? So the only <laughs> yeah. thing at that point is just kind of just, you know, fine, fine tune, fine tune the fine print. Right. And then you can move, but I don't need to go through dancing, getting to know, like when yeah. people, when people reach out to you, say on, on, uh, on LinkedIn, some of the stuff that these people say, Oh my God, oh my help gosh, God help these people. Right. They're like, Oh, I cannot wait to be a part of your network. I, 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 you know, please connect with me because I'm so excited to read what you post. I said, are you seriously? Did you <laughs> seriously write that? Did you, hello. First of all, do you notice that I don't post that much because I don't have time? Okay. It's not the, the thing that you should have said 
is, hey, your show is awesome. And then I actually would have been like, oh, awesome. Yeah, blow some smoke up my arse and yeah. I'm all in to be your best friend, right? Let's just be honest, people, right? So so then that what I started doing because these collaboration calls are working, okay? Back to the collaboration call. So yes. I started calling and I've started letting everybody that come on the show. These aren't, I haven't even tapped into the other other databases. I'm just work, working, working the show peeps and the people that want to come on the show. Because I said, basically, I'm not looking for a one hit wonder. I'm not looking for somebody who just wants to come one and done. Uh-uh. Yeah, you want to yeah, collaborate. Yeah. You want to partner. Do you want to meet the people that are in this awesome, cool group? Do you want to buy and, and sell and promote their products and services? Is because I want to create the community, right? So we don't have to right. reinvent the wheel. We're all here. We just need to show up. We need to put a little back into it. We need to put a little work. And we're there yeah. already. We're already there. Yeah. Why not? That's what right? I'm noticing. Everything that I hear from your people, it's the energy. Everyone's about uh, helping and being there and being consistent. I've, I yeah. hear that thread through each one of your callers that tune in. I've only listened to a few weeks and I was involved with one of them. But I'm looking forward to being more involved and getting to know more people because that's really what's turned my business around, my wife's business, my son's business the last 18 months is when we learned how to really connect with people. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really been a game changer. Uh, there's my, one of my favorite sayings, the difference between contract and contact is the letter R and that R stands for relationships. Oh, and that's brilliant. Did you that's, do a that yourself? that's a Noodleberg. That's a Noodleberg. Noodleburgers. <laughs> I need to meet these noodle burgers. That's like two, two noodle burger <laughs> bombs that I love what they just said. Yes. Oh I'll God. get you and Steve hooked up, but you'll, yeah. you'll be uh, a big fan. But, uh, well, but let me, it's the let me, same kind of option. It's the same concept though. Really? It's yeah. Basic, it really is. Really simple. simple too. It's, Talk about it's, keeping it's it super simple. Free. It's free people. Free. Yes. So then you could use your money and resources for other stuff that you actually need. And I don't recommend going and spending $4,000 a month on a radio station show. You don't need to do that. So don't do that. Okay. That well, worked in 2002, that, three, four, and five when, when money was education. literally flying around like out of control. That's <laughs> yeah. okay. Not now. Not now. You can do a show, podcast, stream your <laughs> Uh, many other resources, right? Many That's other right. <laughs> you don't have to spend that today. kind of money anymore. No, no, no. If you were going to do. you did develop that great late night DJ voice. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I should be. You know, there's other things that I can do with this voice that can be That's bringing Chris in Foster multiple original streams too. of <laughs> multiple streams of income, right? Mm. It's, uh, it's, yeah, there's, there's things. There's things that you can but you do. Got, you got a good jam going on. Michelle. Well, I, I thank you. I appreciate it. We're just trying to grow. We want more people to be involved. I want you to listen to the show. Not because it's it, it, Michelle Swinnick. A wrong right? one. <laughs> I oh, what? I, did I do something? I put the video on instead of the, the, the logo. But yeah, I wanted, oh, to, wanted right. to show people who are He's watching. He said right. 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 home. So, and, <laughs> and the show. Literally, it's not, uh, you're not listening. To, I mean, yes, I try to make it entertaining. I'm very, I'm very fast moving. A lot of the times you have to put it on slowing it down instead of moving it up. So don't worry about thinking, yeah. oh, this is going to drag. This is not a show that's going to drag. This is a show that no. you're going to be like, okay, someone needs to slow her down because uh, I, I missed that. Well, that's okay. You, you're, you'll get there. You'll keep up, right? Then they're in, if you're doing the replay, you can actually, there is a mode that you can slow it down, which is kind of funny. Um, and you sound like you're stoned then, all right? That's okay, everybody. <laughs> right. Welcome to the Everything's Home <laughs> Show. <laughs> yeah. So, but I want you to listen to the show because you're going to get so much out of it. And it should give you a little oomph in your step where you're getting a little bit more inspired to actually get off your arse and participate. You know, you're, 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 you want to be members of groups, right? But you got to show up. You have yeah. these databases of people. You have people reaching out to you. You have LinkedIn. You have your whatever. Well, contact them. Say, hey, listen, do you want to do a collaboration call? What can we do to work together, promote, network? Identify 10 people. That's my thing. Identify 10 people that you know that are like-minded. And then yeah. all of a sudden say, hey, listen, have that conversation. What do you want to do together? What can we do, right? And then maybe they tell you to pound sand. Well, fine, then then you know they're not your friend anymore, whatever. There's so many yeah. more fish in the sea, right? Not a big deal. And when you hit it off with somebody, uh, it is amazing how fast you could do things because most people are like, okay, well then we'll schedule the next call for uh, like two weeks out. So I had one the other day and I said, no, we're not doing that. We're going to talk later <laughs> this week. I, had the, I said, we're, we actually talked about do, like, doing something. And, uh, and she's like, oh, 
So you go, well, normally people want to wait two weeks. I said, I'm, yeah. I'll, I, we can go another hour. I'm ready to go. I, I said, right. this is, well, I got nothing else to do, honey. I got nothing else to do this to get things in motion and make some and money here you. and spread the, spread the joy. Tis the season. So I, yep. you know what? There's no, don't wait. There's no waiting. You're not getting any younger. You're not getting any prettier. You're not getting any thinner. So no, it just and do that it literally now. just happened too with your. Uh, with, I, I introduced you to Stu Goffman and uh, the and, and Liam about the uh, Pick Cherries uh, platform that yeah, I've I've been yeah. involved with, and then you know Liam was traveling, so they had to postpone the call. And I'm like, uh, you know, I don't see a repeat or makeup call yet. Set Stewart. Yeah, where's um, that? Give you gotta like you gotta you gotta meet Michelle because. This can't wait. This relationship is all about what we are all about. So I was like, you know, stoke the fires, light the tires, you know, and, and he's all on about it too. He's all about it too. It's just hard to get three people together sometimes in a room, but uh, you know, oh, if it doesn't happen, putting it off and procrastinating and it's not in our DNA. All right. And no. neither it is in Stu and Liam. That's why I'm involved with them. But when I, when I didn't see that immediate follow back up, I was like, bam, pick up the phone and call my buddy and say, Hey, we got to make this uh, repeat because this is a person that we need in our orbit. Yeah. And, and, but, and this stuff happens fast people, right? They always, you always hear about, they're like, no, no, it's uh, as soon as we, we met next thing, you know, it was this. And then, and then everything was changed. And now we started doing this together and I'm, I'm being really broad, but when it does happen to you, you go, okay, now I know what all, the, all these people have talk, been talking about, yeah. how this stuff happens so fast, right? And you're thinking, yeah. uh, I have a feeling there's a little bit of uh, law of attraction in there. I have a feeling yeah. there's a little bit Absolutely. of divine intervention in there and yeah. a little bit of manifestation and a little bit of fate, a little bit of timing. Call it what you want, right? But 100%. once you are, it's like they always say gratitude, right? Once you are constantly giving gratitude, right? Because that's the thing. you got to be giving gratitude all the time. you got to be thankful for the good stuff then more stuff that is good starts happening and it starts to snowball yep. it in a good direction. But it's like anything else. If you get off on the, uh, this sucks campaign and you're like, Oh, mm. I'm angry about this. And then you're just asking for more, this sucks things to show up in your world. And then you're wondering why it does. Right. But when you switch right. it all of a sudden, and, and, and you gotta be, it's about being consistent too. You gotta keep doing it. You gotta keep showing up because you can't just do yes. it for like five minutes and then be like, all right, I can go on with my day being my, typical yeah. whatever you gotta I keep write doing a book it. about and how many things happened to me in my life the next day after i thought about something and physically brought it into you know life by talking about it writing it down the next day it something happens. somebody calls that you just shouldn't have called or wouldn't have ever called right. if that night before that you weren't in that this is amazing it just happened to me two days ago yeah i don't bore the audience with it but it just happened so it works see that's another testimonial it works but you gotta you gotta do it like this week was for me, it, it, the, all of that happened multiple times, multiple days where I was like, oh my God, I need to keep this going. I don't want to jinx it. Right. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with it. Right. So I'm going to go with it. I'm going to, I'm not going to ease up on the gas pedal. I'm just going to keep throwing yep. more fuel on the fire because I cannot believe the conversations, the phone calls, the things that have transpired in a couple of days. And it's never happened at this rate before. Right. I'm 48. You would think that, that that you 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 go through these streaks, but it goes back no, to no, no, no. like let's say, and you know yeah. these people, right? Like I'm going to use the example of like a Bob Proctor, right? Or even probably uh, I don't know, I don't know about Grant Cardone, but because he's more business ish rather than you know like the, the, the thinking top part of it, you know what I mean? Like the personal improvement. But pick pick these people that live in that type of instant uh, instant manifestation all the time because it, they, mm -hmm. it's like you and I, well, I don't know about you so much. You're probably much more advanced than, than I am. I have to like make an effort. I have to think about oh, it. No, right. No, no, no. Because For I sure. am, I'm not, it's, but these other people who are so extremely successful in all the different avenues of their life. And they tell you this, right. Then it's not a hidden secret to them being in this constant state of gratitude, but then also being able to attract more positive things in your world. Yeah. Yeah. To them, it's as easy and as simple and natural as breathing because they've well, been doing it, is, it for so long. I, I'll give you a hint, though. Uh, this just happened to me over the last uh, probably five years. Uh, Ten years ago, I was bankrupt, lost a business, lost everything. Everyone knows my story who's listening on my side. Uh, so 10 years ago, uh, really 12, but 10 years ago is when I claimed the bankruptcy, took a job for $45,000, and then had to work my butt off back to it. But about five years ago and then about three years ago, Think it's like almost doubling every you know five and then three years and two it doubled again one it doubled again 
because I started learning bigger tricks. Like I just grabbed this from over here. It's a quote on the back of my book and it's by Les Brown. It says the greater danger for most of us isn't that we aim too high and miss, but that's we aim too low and reach it. So there's a oh. secret right there. Don't be afraid to ask for the big stuff because yeah. There's yeah. an abundance of, 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 of rewards for everybody. And if you don't, you, you have to ask for it. You got to mm -hmm. work for it. And if you mm -hmm. are open to working and asking for it, it's going to come. It's going to come. It's going to come faster, like an avalanche. It hasn't stopped. Mm -hmm. It keeps doubling. And with my next venture and the people that I'm talking with now, like Stu and, and Liam with that venture, mm -hmm. th this is going to now, again, it went three, five, three, two, one. This next year, it's going to, you know, I hate to use 10 X because it's grants, but really I'm Second. looking at a humongous upheaval of, of action and what everything that comes along with it, the people, yeah. the, you know, the giving the, the rewards. And that's because I'm not afraid to ask and expect and see ginormous. They call them a uh, big, uh, hot, audacious, hairy goals. That's what I create. <laughs> Uh, and then I just do the, my part every day to, to get those things done. <laughs> oh, I love it. The hairy goals. It's, Big audacious I, hairy goals. I got to tell you, said. I'll tell you something off air about hairy goals. Though. Okay. Just remind me because it's really just Sounds like my own neighbor. There you go, Mr. Hairy oh, Goals. It's, 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 <laughs> it's not something for on air. Well, depending oh, yeah. on your audience, I guess, but it's, it's a funny story. Uh, but I, I second that motion because. Uh, I obviously not, a, I'm not to 10 X thing there, but compared to last week, compared to what happened this week, you could say it was a hundred X and it's just, right. like I said, I'm not putting a limit on it and I'm going full balls mm -hmm. to the wall, right? Because what do I have to lose? What do I have to lose? Yeah. So, you know, you, 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 they could, the only thing they could say is, well, no, or I don't like you. Okay. That's fine. You don't like me. I, I, I'll find more people that do. It's not a big deal. Right. So it's, it is what it is. And Again, like I said, you're not getting any younger. You're not getting any prettier, and you're not getting any like my hair's not getting any lighter. It's getting it's getting darker, if anything, yeah. right? <laughs> and I'm not getting any skinnier because yeah. I'm not exercising. So uh, <laughs> let let's let's do this, right? So before I forget, before I forget, let me do let me do this. I want because you mentioned the other the other product. I want to give away two more things to you guys, right? Yes. I want to give away. I want to knock two hundred dollars off. Remember, I told you the the promos for a, a purpose thing. Oh, thank you for putting the website up. Promosforapurpose.com. Yes. Okay, and it's the everything done for you purpose driven marketing experience where we create your business into a purpose driven business, and it is a full package. Really, you just have to show up. And even if you don't want to just show up, you just want to write the check. We'll do everything. Right? I mean, it's crazy. Like I'll I'll be you. You don't even have to worry about it. And um. It is literally all of the people that I talked to and they told me I was nuts. So it's, it's already half off of what it should be. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to knock $200 off of mm. for you guys, for your people. Wow. So all you got to do is it, and this is something where it's not an on demand where you just buy it. And then it's a course where you've got to go ahead and do everything. It requires yeah. you to have a phone call with me because we want to go through everything. And because you're going to say, for. Michelle, this is insane <laughs> that you're giving me all this stuff but the, from the press release to the media one sheet, to the coaching on how to actually get yourself out there. And we're partnering with you with a nonprofit organization because we want you to be part of the community purpose driven. Oh, and by the way, yeah. that's an entire new audience of people that are going to be loyal to you because they're going to yeah. love you. So when they need your product or service, they're there. And then you're coming on the show and we do a commercial and we do um, a, a full on interview. So there's, and there's different layers to the packages, but for the most part, uh, it is so overloaded with staff. And then you become I part of it. our family, our team. And of course you're, you're like the VIP level, right? So you are going to come on the show more often than uh, Jeremy here, right? So you're going to be doing that. <laughs> until, I'm a, until I get to, to the website after we hang up here. Until, right, till he becomes a VIP. <laughs> He's got to be a VIP, right? So hey, we'll I, guess, you I got some marketing money to spend for 2021 yet. Uh, I talked I to think, my accountant. Yeah, I think it needs to leak yeah, out so a little. I got a little bit of jingle left to, 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 to spare a, a couple of speckles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a leakage, my I need all the deductions I can have for this year. <laughs> well, but here's the thing too. As I keep, I, I'm making introductions to new people all the time, right? And I'm, and then I am making the people network together, right? That's what we're doing on our platforms. So you can get, you can get involved for free. This is all, yes, you can, you can learn about all these people when they come on the shows, right? Yeah. And then I'm, I'm constantly promoting them on the shows, even if they're not on the show. And then we're redoing the whole website to make it so user-friendly that you can actually 
search for certain topics, search for products and services or search for certain things. And then we're going to have our yep. more of our VIP small business owners and nonprofit organizations, the ones that really have stepped up to the plates that engage because we want to, you know, we want to, we want to support them as is equally as they're supporting us. So then sure. those, and especially some of these people, I'm telling you, I mean, when I say take out your pen and paper, when you listen to these episodes, you really need to do that because I take notes throughout yeah. the entire interview where sometimes I have like three, four, five pages of notes. So I'm learning. And don't forget, I'm the Absolutely. one that put together the segment. I'm the one that actually has interviewed this person, um, oh, I don't know, six, 10, 12 times. And I yes. have a whole page. You're a great of interviewer too. In a you truly are the queen of quality content and collaboration. I try. You really have it marketed. I try. You know, cornered well. It's, you you do a fantastic job. Well, I, I just want everyone to to realize the value in their own database and their own networking, and give them the quality content, the ability to to uh, have a landing place. I want you to start showing up. I want you to participate. I want you to join the Facebook group. I want you to join clubhouse group. And that way you can promote yourself because, uh, if you don't promote yourself, no one's going to promote yourself uh, right. or you can pay a lot, pay a bunch of money for a PR company to promote yourself, or you can pay one fraction of that and I'll do it for you. There you go. I do it everything for yeah. you. And then we yes. give you a, we, you know, we help you, we make you have a brand and, uh, we take things I to like the next it. level for everybody. So it just depends. I mean, you, I'm giving you all the information. I'm giving you everything. It's just, you, it's what like, are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? What are you going to show yeah. up? You're going to put a little, yeah. but you got to put a little work into it, whether it is the work of picking up the phone or it is the work of actually listening, right? Or just kind of just deciphering which direction you want to go. And I'm bringing yeah. you the peeps. I'm bringing you all the peeps of all the people that you'll ever need to meet. And then I'm yes, encouraging you learning from each other too, right? Seeing how, who, oh what, what they do in this business is kind of like mine. What are they doing? We're sharing, sharing right. uh, successes and celebrating and, you know, com com complimenting the Jesse Isler rule of threes, right? Compliment, celebrate and console. And then you put the JT four C, which is do it consistently. And that is a recipe for success. Well, I wasn't taking notes. So you're going to have to, <laughs> you're going to have to repeat all that on the show when we do exactly. a longer form interview, because you're rattling off stuff. You're like, you're rattling stuff off like me now. You're like going all your little abbreviations and, and little taglines there. Jeremy Tor Risk. Jeremy we are full Tor of them. Jeremy Tor Well, what can we do for you? What's up? So we're going to go to the, check out the websites. We're going to sign up in droves. We're going to create a, a massive community. And uh, sign up for the newsletter. newsletter that will give us right. access to the course to the unleash your and optimize your database of diamonds and never pay for marketing again, which I love. Oh, yeah. um, and, you know, again, I can't wait to become part of that community to share my knowledge to get to expand my my knowledge. And so, uh, yeah, this is just great How timing. For because free? How about something for free? You want something for free? Absolutely. For, if it's for free, it's for me. I'll throw him a bone for free. I'll throw him a bone for free. All right. So real quick, and then you probably want to wrap it up. We've been on for an hour. And you. So here's the, oh, back to where, how and him and I first started. So he was hesitant to come on my show. He was like, uh, you know, Michelle, I'm not sure if this is a fit for me. I was like, dude, just listen to one of them and then let me know. Like, yeah. it's not a big deal. If you don't want to be my friend, it's cool. Not a big deal. He's like, ah, all right, I'll give it a try. Yes. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, who is this character, right? So then he comes on the show. And I was like, okay, new best friend. Who is this man? I kind of knew it because I knew like if somebody communicates beforehand or especially if they do a little push or something, I'm mm. like, hmm, okay. I think I, I kind of like how he's rolling here, right? Because you, can, nice. I can tell. I've interviewed seven. We've had 734 live segments. I kind of got it. And then I, on top of that, another 130. So we're almost at 900 wow. interviews just on my this show alone. So I kind of have a feel for peeps, right? You know what I mm. mean? Kind of, I can, I can, I can already kind of tell which direction things are going to go. So then, uh, I send my thing. I say, Hey, we need to have collaboration call. I kind of like how you roll there champ. You know what I mean? And he's, uh, he's like, all right. So he's got, I got the virtual coffee. I said, okay, well, I'm going to drink real coffee. Right. And, and is that cool? He's like, yeah, that's no problem. So, uh, we started, it's 30 minutes. We, we were two and a half hours. Yeah, we went a long time. <laughs> so, Very long. So, yeah. So that's what I'm yeah. saying. These and then and then all of a sudden you now, just know. That's the beautiful know, thing about Pete. virtual. That's what coffee. I'm saying. Just you don't get, like it. You lose you your internet it. service. Oops. I lost yeah, you. it's like sorry. Or you just wrap it up. I got another appointment. I got I got a two yeah. o'clock. Do you like that's all you gotta do? Say, hey, I gotta go. I got a two o'clock. It clicks. Just, you know, just we had but, so many so many things. 
but the things that happen, the things that have happened just with him and I since that, and that was last week. This is only a week ago. So I'm saying things can happen fast. So take advantage yes. of it, dip into your own database. And then uh, if you're not ready to do that, then just start hanging out with us anyway, whether you listen to the show or you join us you in the Facebook group. Out of it. Hang out here, hang out, start promoting yourself. Please join the Facebook group and join us on Clubhouse, which we're doing. I'm changing Clubhouse because three days a week is too much. I can't because yeah. there's leaders that we're going to have everybody come in, but I want you to join the Facebook club. Um, we're figuring out which is the best date and time. So we'll know that next week. But anyway, if you're on the newsletter or you join the Clubhouse because you're following the group, right? Clubhouse is the collaboration consortium. And you join the Facebook group, which is Save My Freedom, because it's all about saving my mm. freedom, personal, financial, and personal, oh, professional, all three, member, business, life, community, cover all three freedoms, yep. all yep. all tree, trace freedoms. Um, then that way you'll know when we're going to actually do the clubhouse because you'll get notifications, right? That's the whole point. But I want you to share what you do for your business, share about your community, share about events, and sh throw in some quality content. And if you want to throw in funny stuff, I don't care. The more engagement the better. A group is as, only as good as the people in. that show up, right? Group is yes. as only as good as, as the people that who are in it that show up. So if you, here's a new year's resolution for you. And um, then I'll, I'll wrap it up. Cause I want to throw a, I want to throw you a free bone. So if you, a new year's resolution, go through whatever groups you're a, a part of, whether it's Facebook or uh, LinkedIn or wherever you have your groups. If you've got virtual groups, you're a member of whatever, figure out which ones you're actually going to show up in. And get rid of the rest of them because there's no point. Like, Dead weight. The, what, but, but it's stupid because then you'll never, you, you'll, you'll get notifications for stuff or then why, why load up all of these things? Make your life simple, right? Find the groups that work for you that actually you're getting whatever it is that you want to get out of them. So if it's business or if it's like friendship or, uh, you know, support, whatever it is, or maybe events, whatever. So pick your couple groups. And then participate in them. You got to, but you got to put a, a calendar together because I'm trying to do that now with these. And I'm realizing unless it's set times where I check or I jump in or I post or, or whatever it is, because you were doing these other things, I'm doing collaboration calls. I'm jumping <laughs> on the show. Which, yeah. See that's if you have to do this. I mean, it is because it's too much. No. And then he gets yeah. then to the point where you're, you've lost track of stuff. So calendar it. It's you real. have to do it all. You have to do it. And you have to almost, it has to be a routine where I hate to say it's like, okay, at nine o'clock, I do this at 10 o'clock. I do this. It, 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 you, if you've got to do it. Or two. I'm excited about everything in my calendar. It doesn't go on there if it doesn't you know, light the fires. Well, see, then that's, that's a good thing too. But how, but when you're, when you're trying, when you want these fires to be lit, it's because you're working with people that you already have the relationship with that you enjoy working with, right? So if you have to work and you have to go do whatever it is that you do, you want to be around people that you enjoy doing that with and being. Right. So that's this whole point of the relationships and networking, the collaboration, because if I'm going to buy a product or service from somebody, I want to know that person's on the same page, but I also want them to be cool. I want them to right. be somebody because I want them to be somebody that I enjoy having the conversation with, if I have to spend an hour with them, I want it to be somebody that, that I enjoy spending the hour with. Right. So that's the whole point. Get to, get to life. You don't want to have to do anything. Yeah. You want to get to do everything. Yeah. Get I want to everything to be fun or cool. Yeah. I mean, obviously you got to think everything's not fun and cool, but you know what I mean? Right. But even so if it's least... not, you still get to do something that you're going to learn from. And it's going to be uncomfortable and being that uncomfortable yeah. is a good thing. If you look at it the right way. Yeah, you know? Totally. Totally. You know, and, or especially then once you, you kind of solidify these relationships, um, a little bit more. So like when I started talking to these people, there's some stuff that I didn't know. And I'm like, I've been talking to this person for a year on my show once a month. Yeah. And I just found this out. I should have done these calls, uh, six months, eight months ago. Michelle, you stupid idiot. Why well, weren't you doing it? You're growing the community and those are sparking new thoughts and new angles and new and conversations new people, and bringing new, conversations, new things out. New ideas, yeah. new projects, like the one that Jeremy and I are going to be doing in the uh, the Ultimate Mastermind Summit slash uh, oh, Masterclass. Oh, you're peeling that curtain back. Crack. Yeah, the master, <laughs> it's the master class on crack is what it is because it is so loaded that you are going to be addicted that you're going to be like, Michelle, three days a week. I need more. I need more than 12 experts. I need more. Well, then guess she what? We're going to have special appearances, special appearances by celebrity people that you need to meet, you know, like the people that matter that you need to know about their messages. 
because don't forget, I have this whole arsenal of this database yes. of people that are that have already come on my show or ones that are coming. I'm going to drag them into the room and say, hey, listen, you need to be part of the uh, we're going to put you on the stage today. And uh we're going to give an opportunity for people to engage, ask questions and actually show up and see you and yes. you see them. Why would I yeah. not do that? Why would I not do yep. that for people? Because I can. They give I have us, all these people. Yeah. Well, we already have, we already have the peeps. So yes, it's just different ways of engaging with people, different platforms. So I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get all, all avenues covered, right? So that way, if this person's a listener, if this person's a viewer, if this person wants to engage, this person wants to show up, this person wants to be passive, this person wants yes. to do it for networking, this person just wants to be, you know, uh, for the camaraderie or whatever it may be. We're going to give it all to you. To give. Yes. So. Their own, in their own way. And it, you don't want everybody doing the same thing. Otherwise it'd be vanilla, right? We like to get some Rocky oh, yeah. Road on some thin mint. All right, well, I'm gonna get my Theo. Yeah, my Theo I'm gonna Vaughn. turn into Theo Vaughn yeah, here in just a minute. I'm gonna get some Girl Scout uh, Samoas going on. Oh, this is like some, a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Monkey going on. <laughs> get me out of Theo, Theo Vaughn mode, please help uh, me. <laughs> so funny. Well, here, here, I'm, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw him something free. Okay, and I've been, it's been in the works, and I just need to finish it finally. It's called a Take Action Toolkit. Okay. Now uh, everything in it is going, is, is a bunch of free resources or heavily discounted where it might be a book for four ninety five or something, but most of it's free stuff. And it's going, a lot of it is the people that are going to be part of this huge, incredible masterclass on crack type of thing, where it's just at a level that you've never seen before of the people that right. are a part of it, but it's all interactive. It's all, it's interactive. It's collaborative. It's you are participating. You're just not watching two people right. have a conversation. Oh, no, 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 no. You're there to shoot. You can participate and show up as much as you want. And the more, the more, the better, because we want you to promote your business, your life and your community and all kinds of stuff and, and be engaged. But anyway, all of them usually have some sort of incredible offer or they're asked, they're offering something that they normally don't give away. I'm throwing it in this take action toolkit, right? Wow. So it is, and it's, and it's free. It's my free offer that I'm going to be doing because not only does it promote the people on the show and the platform and the people that are going to be part of this group, the ones that are showing up in the clubhouse, the ones that are showing up in the Facebook, and that's all for free right now. So take advantage of all that. that those will be always free. The, the masterclass thing, yeah. I can't give that to you for free. There's, there's just no way. I mean, it's only going to be $99 a month because I can't. Those people's time and yeah, effort, they charge $400,000 an hour. I can't. That's just... Yes. They're not going to do that. That's the value stupid. is, is going to be off the charts. Oh, it's, it's 12 of them? $99. 99 bucks a month. five enough. Starbucks coffees? 12. Yeah, I think. 12 people. And yeah. special guest appearances. And special like events that we're going to do in it. Oh, yeah, no, no. This is the most... It's, it's, the, it's the best Christmas gift you can ever give to yourself after Christmas, right? Because I was yes. supposed to have it... I was supposed to have it like to the <laughs> point where you can do a, a, a Christmas... To, this is a gift to yourself. Do like a one-month membership just to yep. check it out. But I love I the Take Action Toolkit. I take like Action it. Toolkit. It's going to be loaded with information. So... Uh, I'm going to do my, and it's something basic and simple. It's not any, it's not anything fancy that I'm doing. I mean, it's literally the access to the links or the downloads or the whatever else, but it's all going to be in one spot. So it's, yes. it, it's, it's you right there. So I'm going to Queen crank it out. Quality so content. It'll be ready next week. So as long as you join the newsletter, then it's going to, then when, the, when it's done, I'm going to then put it in the newsletter. So then you can download it. It's also going to be on the website and blah, blah, blah. But for right now, the goal is just join the newsletter. And it's important that you do that. The reason is, and that, where do they I'm get to censored. That I am so censored when it comes to Facebook and Twitter and shadow ban. Like I have 5,000 friends, mm -hmm. four people see my stuff. Okay. So that's why if you go and join the Facebook group, you have a chance to actually see it. Cause you're going to actually go check it out again. The Facebook group, save my freedom, save my, my freedom. Yeah. Because don't you want your freedom to be saved? And you can yep. only save your freedom if we work together. Save my freedom Facebook group. And then where, where do they sign up for the, um, the newsletter? Is that everything home.com everything home about us.com. It's all on there. It's the, it's the, it's the entire menu of everything. Beautiful. And then seven. everything so is on everything. Every, and, and the Facebook groups there too. So don't worry. So it'll show on there to join the Ooh, Facebook group right and it'll say it'll have. And so you just click on it. And then it'll have everything uh, home about us.com yeah. for the listeners. Everything home about us.com is the table of contents of quality content and collaboration that will literally change your life and make everything better. It's all listed right there. Everything you can imagine. 
He's listening. We could go on for hours. I know we have enough. uh, We've done it before. (laughs) And we will, and we shall again, my friend. And we shall. So do you want to plug your website real quick? Because I know that you have incredible stuff on there. Plug that book. I I need a copy of that book. You're going to sign it for me too. I will. um, I'll give that to you. Yeah. I need a, I, I love when I get books signed by, signed by the author. Yeah. So we got, uh, Labor to Leadership is uh, my book. It's the first part of it's pretty much uh, about my life and struggles with business and my personal stuff. And then the second half of this book, which it's already so thin, it's also a great table, coffee table balancer. But um, like it's up. about business elements and how business works together. And okay. uh, this one, though, is very proud of Standing O Tribute. I'm a contributing oh. author, and all the proceeds from this one goes to Blankets of Hope, which is a great uh, uh, charity that. Uh, School children write letters to homeless people uh, of encouragement, and then they they get a blanket that goes with the letter, and that's delivered to homeless people all over the country. Blankets of hope. Uh, this is Scott McGregor's brainchild. There's about 44 authors in this one. I'm I'm one of 44, oh, so wow. um, I wrote a a gratitude. It's a book of gratitude. So uh, my mine's called Thank You, My Brother, and uh, check it out. So those are my two little. Awesome. My two little things for your audience, my my peoples uh, all know about them. They've supported it. They've uh, they've got their coffee table balancers already, a lot of them. But uh, you always can do. Uh, you always got something you need to shove this thing under. So uh, this one's on Amazon or my website, JeremyTorsk.com. and this one is on Amazon. The Standing O tributes on Amazon. Scott McGregor, one uh, G. Well, G, I guess two G's, G, M A C G R E G O R. If you put Scott McGregor in Amazon, you'll come up with all of his standing O's. There's four of them to date. Actually, you should buy all four. They they support different charities, and uh, it's a good thing. I hope to be in uh, everyone from now on, but I doubt I will be because there's so many great people he brings together for those. But thank you for allowing me to speak to your your crowd like that, your peeps. Oh, it's all about promotion, right? That's what we do. We're supposed to support each other. And it's not because you're trying to schlep some books to pay the bills, right? It's no, because the is- information <laughs> that's in the books and like, I'm not there so that Jeremy can, I'm, I'm not saying go buy the books so Jeremy no. can buy a new car like Joel Osteen and you're donating to his church and he's got another Ferrari. It's yeah. not like that. Okay. It is no. literally because the information in the book is going to help you and it's going to change your life. And I believe in what he does. Uh, and that's why I was on the phone with him for two and a half hours only yeah. a week ago. And now we're like best buds only yeah. because we yeah. hit it off and I like what he does and I like how he rolls and he's passed the smell test and that's why I want to share his information because it's going to help you that's the whole point it's going to do something yes. to change your life for the better and again that's what this my entire show is my entire platform all of these different collaborative efforts is to bring together the like-minded people and again most of the <laughs> everything right now is free except for the two programs I mentioned. So yep. take advantage of it. I mean, we did an, and we're going to do it again. We did an all-star month in, on, in, um, all-star month in, in, uh, March of last year. It was no more excuses, March. And, mm. and, uh, we, I went every day. Okay. That's insane. Okay. That's just stupid. I did it every day. I went live every day. Okay. But the content just in that month in the all-star segments, mind blowing. It's literally, there's hundreds of thousand dollars just in there. Then of course, now you have 700 and how many? 734 live segments. Uh, Yes. I'm talking upper, upper uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like you're probably three quarters of a million dollars with the free information. It's crazy. And I, and I have the, I have the notes to prove it. I have the notes to prove it from these people that have been on the show. That's amazing. And if, and, and let's just say you're a little snooty and then, then we'll wrap it up. Cause I know you got to go, you got things to do. You, you, you got stuff to take care <laughs> of here in Florida. Florida. A lot of people to help, but uh, th- this is yeah. so important though, because it's like you said, it's a purpose driven life that we both live. Yeah. So getting this information out there, it really is. This is the only way we have anymore. So, you know, we have uh, deadlines and, and stuff and commitments, but I never, never feel bad about, just have just squeezing as much into it as I can at the time. Yeah, I, I know, but we, we got to wrap it up. So um, again, and, and, and if you only, if you only want to listen to like famous people, you know what I mean? The ones that you know who they are. When you go to the website, you'll see that on the, uh, everything's usually on the take action tab. You'll hang out there. You can, and then you'll see, or episodes and just, then you'll can go just to hang out and listen. And, and it gives you all the listings for all the famous people. So if you only want that, but I highly encourage you 
to just not be partial to the famous people because I'm I, I'm guaranteeing oh, yeah. you this. Nuggets. It, it, the people that are on in these seven minute segments, you might yes. not know their name, but you are gonna go, oh my God, this person's amazing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have them on the show. I don't I if if let's just say somebody comes on and I'm, you know, I, I'm like, yeah, the they're not, it's not they're really the A game's not there. I mean, they might be a night person, but I'm not going to have them back on because it's not worth your time. I'm not going to waste your seven minutes. That's yes. what I'm saying. I am I'm so considerate of your time that I'm not even going to waste seven minutes of it. Okay. I'm going to make right. sure that right. you're going to, it's, so it's many. worth it. Yeah. Right. So, so again, join the newsletter, go check out the show. We're Mondays live at 12 PM mountain time, everything home about us.com, everything home about us.com and uh, engage, show up in the Facebook group, post what you do. Uh, and uh, there's no limit like post the heck, but just every day you want to post every day. You want to post throughout the day. I mean, obviously you don't want to abuse it. So people are like, who the hell is this crazy person? They just keep literally every five minutes they're posting to buy my crap. Okay. That's not, that's not a good idea. That's not good for anybody. Okay. So use discretion, right? You, but it's open. It, I want you to, to because we're going to make it as a resource. So when somebody needs something in that category, they go there first. We don't want to use Google. You never yeah. need Google again. Stranger danger. Remember stranger danger. Three things, right. two things that I remember from school, no Google, stranger no danger, Craigslist. stranger danger, bad. <laughs> the other thing I remember from school, which now that I look back kind of makes sense why they did it. The three R's reading, writing, arithmetic. They didn't start all with an R reading. Yes. Writing <laughs> W arithmetic yep. A. And I'm supposed to listen to these people <laughs> and you want me to listen to you? I'm wait a second. Okay, lady, hang on a second. So you're telling me the fundamentals of everything that I'm going to learn for the next 12 years is based on the three R's and only one is an R and I'm supposed to listen to you. Okay. So that's what I'm yep. saying. And now, now looking Don't back and just buy the hype. It, Think for yourself. Yeah, school system, bad homeschool. Go just yes. take the kids home. They're better off literally just watching you at your desk working than they are in these school systems. But that's a whole nother show. That's a whole nother show, good, uh, Papes. That's a whole nother show. Another, a bunch of the more words that won't start with R. Three R's. The three R's <laughs> were a lie. Ever. It was all based on a web of lies. All based on a web of lies. Okay. Anyway. All right. Well, we're going to get gonna uh, get together in the next couple of days. And oh, yeah. uh Let's say <laughs> and you're in the take action toolkit too, right? You sent me your stuff. Did you send me your stuff? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes. So he's part of it too. Okay. Just checking. Yeah. It's loaded. All right. Join the newsletter. That's all you got to do. And that'll get you started. That, that'll get you the, 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 the 20% off the course. That'll get you the 200 bucks off the promos for a purpose, but go check out promos for a purpose. It's the end of the year. I've got a couple spots left. If you want to do that. And I'm telling you it's the best marketing and networking and brand imaging investment you'll ever make because I'm going to, I'll personally introduce you to every single person that you want to, that's been on the show, even the famous people. I'll do that. Yep. I'll do it right now. I'll do it. If you say, if you do the packages, you do any of the packages and you want to meet literally. And when you see some of these famous people, you're gonna be like, I might do it just to do that. I, I will, I will, I will, I will get you that introduction. I We're mean, obviously if, if it's, a, if it's applicable it for your business, if it's not, you just want to talk. Of course. To them. I might actually just ask them to do me a favor and say, Hey, can you give this guy five minutes on the phone? <laughs> he bought a package. It's kind of like, you know, when you, when you, you buy it, you buy it, and you, you, you win the bid for the donation and you get lunch with right. the celebrity just because I might just say, Hey dude, can you do me a favor? <laughs> can you just yes. give him five minutes on the phone? <laughs> he's never a know huge what you're fan. Learn. <laughs> and, and he's he's a huge fan. I, I'll do that. Okay. So anybody that has a package, I'll get you introductions to these people. Because you should be networking and, and doing business with them in, anyway. So I'm throwing in all Absolutely. kinds of stuff. But anyway, uh, do that. Get in and do the newsletter because then when the Take Action Toolkit is done, and I promise that it'll be done next week, literally information in there will it will will change. I'm, I'm not kidding. This stuff will change your life. But you got to show up. You got to put a little work into it, a little back. Just a little, just a yes. little back. You know what I mean? I'm going to test it out and we're going to vouch for it. We're going to blow it up in 2022. Oh, it's going to be huge. It's going right, to be wait, wait, the group thing. It's going to blow their mind, Jeremy. It's going to yes. be, yeah. Yeah. All right. Talk to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend. Oh, we'll my goodness. speak to you in a bit. Yeah. I'll, I'll just stay right here. I'll hang out. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. I told you, nobody matches that energy. I thought I was a king of energy. Michelle takes the cake. Thank you for joining today on the GoProcast, and we'll see you next time.